Geeks Like Us, episode number 15. The Gwai. Now, yes, let's talk about the Gwai from Arcana, number Chip one of four. From hell. <laughs> Not Chipmunks, more like Sasquatch or Wendigo. Yeah. Well, uh, Wendigo, that was supposed to be the title of this book. I thought they were switching it. Uh, but it's now back to the Gwai. I don't know why, but. I don't know. I just, when I looked at the cover of this Easy thing, to pronounce. I pictured, Wendigo. like, these things are pocket size. Yeah, they look so tiny right. on the cover. Get me pokey! He's not talking to me, right? No. Mike. Get me pokey. <laughs> anyway. Get um, me pokey! No, this, is, this, is, this comic is one of two in this review that uh, I think should be would be better like kids TV shows rather than a comic book. Because, I mean, kids would rather watch TV than read a comic. Like the younger kids, this seems to be geared towards. But that's just me. The artwork, I think, is very... I mean, obviously, it's very big cartoony but it's actually well done no, it's good it is. It's, it's, it's good art it's it's for cartoony and the art, coloring of the book is very nice yes the color rich color yes. vibrant lots mm -hmm. of colors yes good story but and the story was good the yeah. thing that threw me was you know you go through this whole thing reading you're thinking like oh look why these little things like little, little, little guy. and like if i remember correctly it's been a few days since i read this last panel of the thing you know you see what the guy probably is like <laughs> and he's just like this big you know like you're expecting Cheap mom from hell. That's well, even the mother though. The mom, yeah. <laughs> and and then the yeah. mom's like, cheap mom from hell. <laughs> yeah, she gets shot. Sorry. Yeah, it's your typical Bambi story. Yeah, but anyway, no, so the, actually, the coolest. Though. Maybe the main character <laughs> ah. on Cave the Cow. I doubt that. Bat guy. <laughs> the, the the coolest thing about this book to me, I mean, the story was good, the art was good, and all that kind of stuff. But I like at the very end, after the comic was over, they went into kind of like folklore stuff about yeah. the region they're talking about and the the, the language and all this. I'm like, that's so really real cool. creatures from yeah. Canada. And the guy well, comes not. from. Yeah, they're real. The guy comes they could from, be from real. Canada. Okay, they could be real. They, they, they could be real. But anyway, they're Canadian. Um, but that was but Have that you was ever like seen those those Man, messing with Sasquatch. Yes. That's what those messing with these creatures. That's what those. Commercial uh, from. Yeah. Except none of these guys had a wristwatch on. No. As seen in the classic photo. <laughs> Is that what he's doing? Nah. Is he checking his time? Nah, he was like looking down and was like, oh, shit, oh, the cameramen are here. Wife's, <laughs> wife's gonna be upset. Keep watching. Late. Yeah, I'm late for dinner. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was good. I mean, nothing bad about it, really. I mean, definitely kid's story, but definitely enjoyable by older audiences. There you go. I saw the cover and I'm like, oh, man. Reading kid stories. I stopped being a kid like at least two years ago. No. And it wasn't bad. You still play games. I stopped being a kid two years ago. 22 was the limit. I stopped there. But this wasn't wasn't bad. No, it's pretty good. It's not something I'm going to pick up. I'm no. I'm going to read voluntarily, but it's just. No. I will. Oh, yeah. I dig this kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I, one thing I didn't like I was. I did a chipmunk from hell. Well. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, I, one thing I, I didn't care for was I thought the action in the book was a little jumpy. It it, it didn't seem to flow. I mean, it looked pretty, but it, the chip. Ones. Yeah, well, <laughs> some of the the scenes just. Why do we keep having to explain this to him? I know. Mm. Some of the scenes just jumped from from spot to spot. I mean, it wasn't smooth transitions from panel to panel. I didn't think. Kids aren't going to care, and I think pretty well, sure. I know kids aren't going to care, too. but. I'm pretty sure that's what this comic's geared towards, and that's fine. But if you want to pull in an older audience, yeah, I think you're right. And and the the main character seemed a little, at one point, more like, oh, I'm just gonna get all the humans and do as much damage as I can, rather than try and find my mother. Like, who, that was no, the whole goal. No, they took well, my he's mom. Younger, his they took my mom. What am I gonna, like gonna do? Kill thing. you all. <laughs> I don't know. He just came in and just like cleaned up. You took my mom! You're all gonna die! <laughs> he didn't say that, but that's the feel you get. No, he Especially when he whips out the Uzi. Yeah, why were the, no why Uzi. were the Ninja Turtles in this? There's, there's no Uzi in this. Or Ninja Turtles. We're having hallucinations again. Yes. You need more medication. On that note, well, I guess we'll wrap this up. Adolescent radioactive black belt hands. We've got more comic reviews coming <laughs> yeah. up, so be sure to tune back in. Anyway. We'll see you then. Why? <laughs>